Welcome to Antimatters, Tetramorium by Karen Atom, episode 3 today. As you can see, they've moved nests. Previously, I had them in a Venus nest from Wakushi. I chose to move them for practical reasons. I know the population is about to explode, so we'll need more room. Also, it's a lot easier to disconnect now without them escaping. Their new nest is an S3 starter module from Wakushi. It has water, good hydration, and is easier to expand so it's a win-win for these girls. Already, when piled in the gypsum chamber, the brood feels three quarters of it top to bottom. A lot of the time, they spread the brood, eggs and larvae in the humid gypsum chamber, and pupae in the tubing near the nest joint. I believe their egg laying ability is about to at least double, because if you haven't noticed, we got winged queens. <laughs> well chuffed about that. If my understanding is correct, they should stick about in the nest and become fertile queens. I've never witnessed this first hand, so I may be wrong. Because they have wings, I've secured the lid of the outworld and got another in the post for a proper worry-free setup. So far, the winged queens haven't left the nest, so fingers crossed, they want to stay. As I said, I've got a few new bits in the post, and when they arrive, I'll make another video to see how they're getting along and to expand their nest. I hope to see you then, and thanks for watching.